Yes, we're back for another session. And this will be a brief introduction to um, what has been termed splots. Other folks have called them tiny teaching tools. They can be thought of as site templates, which we'll discuss. But in the end, the term splot, which it's not very clear what it means, has kind of won out, I think. And what is a splot? Well, actually, it's it came from Canada. <laughs> um, this is the splot.ca website. And um, according to lore, Brian Lamb and Alan Levine, working at Thompson River University, they actually um, were talking about a way to make a site that is as easy as possible for folks to install and it's kind of pre-populated. So rather than seeing the hello world, what you have is you have plugins installed, theme set up, and you can just get up and running. That could be a writing tool, that could be an image collecting tool, that could be a um, portfolio tool, all of these things. So in fact, they went about actually creating a whole series of different tools. Um, the Splot Box, which is kind of like a media collector, Splot Point, which is kind of like a Word, I mean, a PowerPoint um, using WordPress, um, a DS106 assignment bank near and dear to my heart, and then a kind of abstraction of that with the daily blank, um, TRU Collector, which is a tool we'll probably look at, Sounder, et cetera. So the writer is another one. All of these tools, though, are built on top of WordPress. And so one of the things we hear about from folks is that you've kind of conflated splots with WordPress. And that's only because I think Alan, who's developed most of these, develops in WordPress. So that's why the splot has been kind of conflated with the idea of WordPress. But it need not be. You can create a template on top of a Drupal, on top of Omega, on top of um, Scaler, etc. pretty much any application that is a one-click installer. The difference between a splot and say a template though, or a templated site, is that a splot is independent. It has its own one-click installer and it's updated and managed independently from say um, a WordPress instance on your server. So that's one thing to keep in mind. All of these, or at least several of these tools the TRU collector, um, the uh, several portfolio sites, as well as the TRU writer are actually now independent applications that can be installed using a one-click install. In fact, this is a good place, Lauren, for us to look at how that works in cPanel. All right, so we're back in my state UC panel account that I set up earlier today. Uh, and I've just essentially gone to the all applications section. Um, and you can see here that uh, while there's a quite a few applications that I can install under this featured applications space, and by the way, we can add additional or take away different applications here. So this list that you feature is customizable, uh, but you'll see a few here called big picture, dimensions, highlights, true collector, true writer. That should look a little familiar now after uh, Jim's overview of splots because these are essentially custom installers that are built on top of WordPress that have themes and plugins already installed and configured. So I'm going to click install this application and I'm just going to install it on my main domain here. Um, whereas beforehand for beginner users, installing WordPress for the first time, you see that blank hello world page. Um, it, it's kind of hard to know where to start. There's so many themes out there, so many plugins. And when you're just beginning, you don't really know where to begin. And so the beauty of these custom installers, these splots or site templates that you all can create is you're essentially showing them the potential of existing pre-approved themes and plugins that already have site content generated inside of it. So now when I go to larnhanks.stateu.org, I'm not going to see that blank hello world page. I'm going to see a, a theme that's already been set up that already has pictures and text involved. So you can see exactly how that theme looks. Um, so for a user who's figuring out 
the basics and playing around with an application. They're not going and saying, where do I go to begin? They're going, okay, how do I change this image here? Where do I change this text? And it keeps, it sort of slingshots the thinking forward a bit into the space where you're not trying to figure out how to play with WordPress. You're trying to figure out how to customize an existing setup. Uh, and so it, it's really quite, quite, quite special, I think, for users. So this is just one example of a splat. We also have a couple more, as Jim suggested. So I just installed Big Picture, but there's also a Dimensions calling card theme. Uh, and if you see the screenshot here, it's going to look exactly like um, our State U uh, landing page. So D O O O. I love that our State U landing page is a splat, effectively. You yeah. basically took the splat idea and created a landing page for yeah. communities. So this is actually built on top of a splat, on top of that dimension. Uh, I think it's, yeah, the dimensions calling card theme uh, where we essentially just customize it and add it in our own text. So that's an example. Um, I know, so we're going to kind of move into a space here shortly where we can all um, kind of build out our own site templates. So that's probably a, a good distinction to make is that you can create these site templates for your users. However, it's not going to look exactly the same. Uh, we've obviously worked with Alan to, to build out these custom installer packages uh, for what we're calling splots. A site template is something that we can kind of do it ourselves. It's a DIY version of a splot. Uh, so you all as administrators, administrators can create your own, but it's not going to look like a custom installer. It will actually be, um, you know, available when the user goes to install an application. So if I go to install WordPress here and I scroll down a bit, um, it's going to give me an option to install, I think, install a blank version of WordPress or a templated version. I don't have any templates set up right now, so I'm going to show you where we go to do that. All right, so now that we're in Installatron, I'm going to click uh, Create an Application Template. And I'm going to search my application at the top here. Um, so once you have it set up completely the way that you want, so let's say this is the site that I've created on blog.laurenhanks.stateu. I'm ready to um, make that a template for my community. I'm going to select it and click that star there that says template. And I'm going to give it a name. So for now, we'll just go with Lauren's template. And this is for folks from course 101 to give them a, you know, so anyone who is in that cor course installing WordPress, they will now see this template. So it's essentially taking a copy of that site that I created. And it's important to, to note here that while our custom installers are going to automatically update uh, for everyone, the template is really just a copy, a duplicate of that site that I created. So if you ever need to make updates to the site or you know change a theme or a plugin you actually will have to re-template it but it was very simple as you just saw to template it out so you could just delete that that um you know previous template and then re-template it out the natural next question that comes is if i delete a template what's going to happen to all of those sites that people have installed nothing um, so once it, someone has installed it in their account, they're fine. You're just essentially changing and updating the template for anyone else new. Template. The only thing there, Lauren, is that there won't be, if you update the template, those updates won't be pushed to people who already have yes. it installed. So keep that in mind, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. So you're really just impacting those new users, not existing users. Um, but now that I've created my template here, I'm going to go back and test this out. So I'm going to go back to my cPanel account um, and do a, a little bit of a refresh here. And I'm going to click WordPress. I should see that space where I can either get a clean WordPress install and install my own content or I can click that Lauren's template there for course 101, which is exactly what we want. So that is our DIY version of a site template. So it's not in a custom installer itself, but it's actually embedded in the application that you're templating. The nice part of it is that Installtron makes it possible 
for you to template out these sites. So one of the things we're gonna work on now is we're gonna have you all get in there, install some splots, play around with whether it's TRU Collector, which is really fun, or one of the portfolios, and then we'll work with you to see if you can get some templates up of just maybe a basic Omega or WordPress, et cetera, so you have a sense of what's possible for your community.